This is Manabu Farms, reminding you, be productive with the space you have around you. Stop growing grass and grow some food. Feed the community around you. Hello everybody, this is Carl out of Manabu Farms. And I told you I'd give you an update the next time they tried to attack us or tried to intergage with us. So, and they sent us this wonderful email, so we thought we'd give you a little heads up. <coughs> this comes from Brian, I'll never get his last name right, it's I-S-S-A Isis. Isa. Anyways, he's the code enforcer operator. He's actually a really nice guy. I know code enforcer, you think that's going to be the guy who's trying to kill me, but really he's actually the nice one. Um, okay, so I've been racking my brain to try to figure out the parking situation and still believe there is good grounds for a variance in this case. I don't make that decision, but I'm willing to write up the reasoning for it and forward it on to the person who does to see what they make of it. If they agree, that will get you around having to install additional parking, which means actually ripping out my community garden because they've gotten some bad flack from me ripping out my community garden. So now I'm getting emails saying we can work around that. Okay, so here's the next catch, however. In other words, here's the next assault. The building code changed last year and the exemption to fire sprinkler requirements for pre-existing buildings was removed and all residents are now required to install fire sprinklers. Okay, I'm not gonna waste your time for 20 minutes to read this whole other thing, but it goes on to tell you how that's gonna cost us around $10,000. Amazing the exact same amount they wanted for us to pay for them for installing a parking lot. But, uh, and that's pretty much it. So they went from, they knew it was political suicide to attack the garden. They knew it was political suicide to say we couldn't live in a church as a pastor. So they figured they would go with something safe, fire safety. Now they're gonna to try to get us with that. Ah, uh, tell me what to do, guys. How do I save the place when they've actually got something legitimate that they're saying, I mean, the only thing I see here is every house in Eureka, every house in my city, every residence now has to install fire sprinklers. So I suppose they're just gonna start with me though, finding me instead of the other people that don't have fire sprinklers. How's that gonna work? Talk to you guys soon, give you much more garden updates and a really new fun F5 series coming out. I think you're gonna like this one.